you we're going to look for YouTube channel art. I'm just going to type in here YouTube. All right, so YouTube channel art. We're going to click in there. That is the first step. You will see templates come up here. You then choose the one that you would like for your channel art and say I am choosing Now these are pre-made and most of these are free. And the reason I'm saying you should choose something from here is because this is something very simple. You don't have to design in anything and it's pretty much all designed for you. So I'm just going to type in color. So I want something that has a lot of color. I kind of like this. It's, oh, this one's very nice. Okay. So, um, step two is changing the lettering here. So you just click inside here and you go select all and then you can change your lettering. So mine is going to say the DIY affiliate and that is way too big for me although it's supposed to actually show up but I don't think it will so I am going to make that smaller so usually about 48 is a good size now this one is not a free one so it will have watermarks on it so this is just as an example. So you would change this or you could actually just take it right out. See, you could just delete it and then you have your background. And then you can put your own lettering in. Your own text. So there we go, just putting my own text in there. I can't see that, so I'm just making that yellow. And also about 48 there. And then once you put your own information in here, And you can move with your mouse when you have the uh, four arrows. You can make this bigger, make it smaller. It's always a little bit harder to use when you're working on an actual, um, with an actual background. So I'm just going to go back into my templates and just choose another one there. And just this was much simpler, the DIY affiliate. And um, I just have a couple other pieces of text. 
that I want to put on. And there we go. I've got these two tacks that I just want to put on. And that is connecting the dots. Oh, she can't see it. That's too small. So you would um, then find out how you can, what is going to look the best for your font. And you can just choose your font in here. You have a lot of fonts that you can choose from and each one shows you exactly what it is if you want to change it. Like for instance, this one is different. And if I change it, then it will change my font there as well. And also your size, you can then change your size. You can make it smaller or you could make it larger. Your color, this is where you see the A and that's your color. You can change the color to whatever you want. And then, of course, you don't need this right now, but you could also change your spacing and the spacing of the letters. You see how you can space the letters out? And also you can do the line height as well if you wanted to. Okay. So that is a very simple way to actually get your, um, to do a channel banner. You can also use elements in which you can use graphics. And all of the elements work the same way. You have graphics, you have photos, you have shapes, you have illustrations. You have a lot to choose from and every time it says free that means that it is free so say you wanted to put um, let's say we wanted to use the, the world so we would then click on that and then you can use your mouse and you can move it when you have your four arrows, you can move it. And then when you click in it, and as long as you have a straight arrow going down there like that, you can move it to size. So let's say there. Okay, you can also have photos. You can either use um, a photo that's here or you can upload a photo, but it's totally up to you. If you just want to have something very easy, then all you have to do is get the, uh, do the template and change the lettering. And then there you have your, um, there you, you have your channel art. I'm just changing this because I need to make that. There we go. Okay, now when you are ready and you see this area in here, this is where your channel art uh, will show up. So when you are ready, then you would click your download and it says the PNG is suggested, so you would download that. It would then um, be saved in your computer. It would show you where do you want to save it. It'll come up and you have either a file 
or you can save it in your desktop. So I'm just going to save that. You go back to your YouTube. You make sure that you are on your channel. And when these whistles come up, and you just click on that, edit your channel art. A box will come up. It'll say drag a photo here or select. Now, if you are able to and you can see where it is that you saved it, then drag it over or right click show in folder and then it will then show and then over and drop it in. Not go in. So, so yeah, it's able to uh, go into the right place and you'll see because it will turn blue and I'll say uploading so this is what it will, will look like and you can adjust it to crop it if you want so that means that this part you want this part to actually be the part that's that you can see which is right there okay and then select and there you have your channel art done in uh, three quick, easy steps. So I hope this has been helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool tutorials that are coming out. Have yourself a wonderful day.